Central bus stops and metro stations in Delhi witnessed long queues today, a day after officials announced that public transport in the national capital would be only 50% capacity. The decision was taken amid a spike in COVID-19 cases after the emergence of the new Omicron variant. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Tuesday declared a yellow alert under which schools, colleges, cinemas and gyms will be closed. Commuters said that they were facing difficulties due to the new norms. The waiting time for the passengers has increased due to the low seating capacity. Total count of the highly transmissible coronavirus variant Omicron has reached 781 in India. Delhi has the highest number of Omicron counts with 238 cases, followed by Maharashtra with 167 cases. India reported 9,195 fresh COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Over 143 crore vaccine doses have been administered in the country, making a significant milestone in the fight against COVID-19. Sahadev Dirdo, the young boy from Chhattisgarh who became an overnight social media star after a video of him singing Bachpan Ka Pyar went viral on social media, met with an accident on Tuesday. According to reports, the accident happened when Sahadev was on his way to his village on a motorcycle with his father. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Bhagel has issued all the help to Dirdo. According to the latest report, Dirdo is now conscious and recovering. Singer and rapper Bacha is also in touch with the family members of Sahadev Dirdo. Andhra Pradesh BJP President Sonu Veer Raju stirred controversy during one of the election rallies in the state. Addressing a public rally in Vijayawada on Tuesday, Veer Raju said if the Saffron Party is elected to the power in the state, the prices of liquor will be reduced to 75 rupees. He further said that if the state will have the revenue, the prices of liquor in the state will be slashed to 50 rupees. Currently, a quarter bottle of liquor is sold at 200 rupees in Andhra Pradesh. Global COVID-19 cases hit a daily record, disrupting the holiday seasons a year after the vaccine first started rolling out and two years after the emergence of the virus that many hoped would be fleeting. More than 1.44 million worldwide infections smashed the prior record after factoring out a day in December 2020 when Turkey backdated a significant number of cases. The highly mutated and more transmissible variant yet Omicron is fast becoming the dominant strain globally as it evades immunity normally provided by vaccine and previous infections. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.